Welcome to Met about Met V screencast. This is uh, Yang Cho, and I am an IT evangelist at Microsoft. Met V, or Microsoft Enterprise Desktop Virtualization, is perhaps one solution that you may have heard a lot, yet not so much seeing it in action. Now, before I present you the user experience on running Met V applications, how to configure a workspace policy, how to deploy a MetV package. In part one, I would like to spend a few minutes to first go through the fundamentals and talk about the concept and the architecture of MetV and establish a baseline for subsequent discussions in the series. Here I'm showing you a typical and highly simplified the PC configuration with an OS installed on hardware and application installed within the OS. And the separation of these components at the different levels makes desktop and application virtualization possible. MATV is built upon desktop virtualization. In order to understand the benefits of desktop virtualization, it is important to understand the differences between desktop and application virtualizations. Application virtualizations encapsulates the runtime environment of a target application and resolves conflicts between applications. Application virtualizations provides isolated sandboxes on the client in which the applications run from. Virtualized applications are not installed on the client as traditional application, but rather provided as a self-contained package which can be streamed from a deployment server. Desktop virtualization, on the other hand, addresses application incompatibility with an operating system. Desktop virtualization, which incorporates MetV and Virtual PC, actually creates a package of a full desktop, namely the OS and targeted application. In Microsoft Desktop Virtualization, a virtual operating system environment hosting MetV applications runs in the background on the client and uses Virtual PC as the main virtualization engine. To run a MetV application, the associated workspace must be started first. A workspace is a virtual PC image with a usage policy. The usage policy is defined by a MetV administrator who uses MetV Management Console to configure the policy. A workspace policy has groups of settings including user experience, uh, performance, networking, security, and so on, defining how MetV applications will behave based on target users or groups. Now, if user try to start a MetV application while the workspace is not in place, the workspace will start on demand. And once the workspace is loaded, the application will start. MetV workspace policy allows a MetV application to seamlessly integrate it into the all program menu on the host computer and runs transparently with the locally installed applications. The virtual PC where the MetV application are running is hidden from a user and the user gets an integrated experience by starting a MetV application from the All Programs menu on the host computer without the need to know about the hidden virtual PC where the MetV application is actually running. 
How cool is that? The MEPD architecture comprises of a number of components. Virtual machine images. A MEPD virtual machine image is created by an administrator and it provides an entire desktop environment including the OS application and uh, any management settings as required by our target computing environment. A virtual machine can be configured as a member of an Active Directory domain or it can be provisioned during the MetV client initial setup as needed. Virtual Machine Images Repository stores all virtual machine images in an IIS server. The repository provides image management, image retrieval, and download capability of new or updated virtual machine images using a technology called Trim Transfer. I will talk more about Trim Transfer in a minute. The management server provides the centralized management of the images stored in the virtual machine image repository. The management server has the ability to apply a usage policy and authentications to the Active Directory users and groups. The management server can also integrate with an external SQL Server database for monitoring and reporting. The management console is used to provide administrators with centralized tools needed to control the management server and image repository. An end user client authenticates against the management server, retrieves usage policy, and then acquires the associated virtual PC image from the repository. The virtual machine image can be included in a package and deployed uh, with removable media like DVD or memory stick, or it can be configured to directly download it from the repository. And this is where trend transfer become relevant. When downloading an image, there may be instances where both a virtual machine image located in the repository and the end user client machine share the same applications or operating system. Or the end user client machine may already have a similar virtual machine downloaded. When a new or updated image is available for end users to download, significant chunks of data like system or application file in the virtual machine may already exist on the endpoint local drive. Train transfer technology will scan and index the local drive the first time the MapV client runs. It can then use the local blocks of data to recreate a local copy of the virtual machine image and only download bits that are not available on the local machine. This provides an efficient way to download only new or changed elements that are not available already on a client host machine. And this reduces network bandwidth requirement and the delivery time of a new or updated virtual machine image to a client. MetV is the newest member of Microsoft Desktop Optimization Pack, or MDOP. The optimization pack now includes six components, including both application virtualization, or EPV, and desktop virtualization, or MetV. Notice the optimization pack is available only through software assurance program at this time. And uh, to get more information on software assurance, talk to your software vendors or get more information from Microsoft.com or Live.com, right? And you can just search certain keywords and you can get uh, information related to this screencast or MetV or software assurance. 
Next, let me show you the user experience of running Met V applications.